Okay, let's just uh, push through the center here. We're so familiar with this type of opening. Um, we may as well just continue doing what we do. Capture again because we're on the queen if they forget themselves. <laughs> and let's make space for castling. Oh, if they're out, put a bit of thought into that. I was just, while I was sat there thinking, I was thinking, oh, I could go for that fancy thing, you know, where you take the pawn here and then the king takes and then you go whoosh up here like this with a check on the king to get the bishop back. So then you put up a pawn. But they've obviously beaten me to the punch, bringing their queen across. So it's doing like a double dose attack because it's basically attacking the pawn here, looking for a quick check and meet. So we're obviously going to bring the queen here, the knights they're going to get involved, squishing us. So we're going to have to go and castle. Could attack the bishop as well, keep the momentum going for the initiative. Yeah, like I said, the knight's coming in there, he's got a 2 on one So we could just bring the bishop back. I'm being very defensive, or I could come here and defend the pawn. Let's develop another piece. They've castled, could attack their bishop like we said, but I think what they'll be looking to do is put more pressure with their rook on this pawn. So I'm going to castle. Let's bring the bishop in to attack ours, our queen. to attack their queen I find it hard to believe that they're not going to exchange, so we'll do a preemptive on that one. Yep. Okay, going for monster attacks, so let's just grab and let's attack the knight. Gives us plus one for that moment. Ok, 
Um, I don't think that they're not going to take there because... Oh, okay. So we can attack. Capture this pawn, attacking the rook. What's he planning? No, it's attacking the pawn. The pawn's got... Oh, it's in... They're trying to be fancy, you know, don't you just hate it when they're trying to be fancy? Because if this takes, then this pawn can't take because the bishop's got the diagonal. It's all too fancy for me. Let's go and attack their bishop. tempted to take with the pawn. It's going to be an isolated pawn in the centre. Only because I'm, I'm <laughs> looking at being greedy. I have a go in here or here with the knight and it feels a shame bringing it all the way back. And in my head I'm sort of thinking, oh I've lost tempo, I'm not actually advancing now and I've given them a bit of breathing space if I come back with the knight. What do we do? Take with the pawn and it just pushes the pawn down. We put a check on and then we get the pawn. That's why I'm thinking that's better. I'm going to take with the pawn. Oh, I didn't um, put that in my roller deck, did I? So attacking the knight would make sense. The bishop can take it if it comes here. It's that tunnel vision. Oh, not again. <laughs> Messing with the screen. Yeah, the tunnel vision really does stop me from seeing the whole picture, you know, because I didn't see I didn't see the fact that you could still take the pawn. I don't really know where it's going now, so it'll go back so we can still get this pawn and be on his rook. His rook will then be on, on this pawn. Is there anything else that the rook knight is going to do? Oh, oh I thought that was for free then. Woo! Well, that was for free. Let's just go and attack the pawn. Push this pawn up. Or is it pushing the pawn up? Is there something else? Nope, I don't think there is really. And my poor rook is in the centre of the board. Let's go here. This rook comes and attacks our knight. Knight can come back. Could attack this pawn, but I don't think we'll do that. Again, I'm not spotting the stuff. Um, so he's attacking the bishop. Because we're only plus one up. It's, it's nothing major. Could have attack his bishop. Doesn't have to take the Z. Let's attack their bishop. To do capture, okay. Let's just um, hit the rook. And the big question is have I trapped my knight? Nope, if he does attack, well, they might do something because I can't come down here. But if he doesn't attack my knight straight away, then he's looking the movement that he makes is there to attempt to trap him okay so could push then 
the attacks combined. Mm -mm. It's gonna hurt. Oh, this is gonna hurt, isn't it? It's found a lovely spot. If I don't go here, because he's coming here anyway, he's attacking my rook. And if I go here, then he's going here, attacking the pawn. So we'd have to go up just to defend. But then he brings his rook across. Maybe not that one. Brings his rook across to attack. Ooh. Bring this rook down to defend. I'm not sure about them apples, you know. Let's bring it up. That was a two step calculation. So he attacks, we go here, his rook comes across, we bring the rook down. But as we know, they don't do what we say, but recently they've been doing a few of the moves I've been um, calculating. They must be the more obvious moves. I was getting rid of it already. Damn, doesn't want this other rook to get in the game. And then he's got sights of coming down here and yee, and my knight is out of the game as well. Could push here, just uh, link up the pawns even more. If he captures. Not capture it. Uh, what am I falling into now? Has he got the. Uh, can the knight put a check on my king? Nope. Can he get both of my rooks? So we go here. Has his knight got a rook? Fork on both of them? Nope. Nope. Doesn't look like it. I'm not sure what that was. Oh, it's defending the knight. But obviously, this is going to get taken, isn't it? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So we take. Then he comes down and takes. Then we take. No, he hasn't got a check on our king. Alright. So I think we can take this. Okay. Then he takes. Yeah, I feel like I'm falling into a trap here. I'm going to take... What's this knight doing? Could push the pawn. And his rook comes down. Push the pawn. Maybe two. Plus two. Oh, God, I thought I got my rook then. Oh, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't have been happy. Oh, he's got the pawn. He's got the pawn. Shall we stay out of trouble? Let's just bring it here. Get lined up. Oh, he's got the other pawn as well. Give me strength. Oh no, 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 no. Magical night moves. In the dying seconds. No, I'm not having that. Oh no, I'm not having that. Nah. I 
I'm not wearing them apples. Mm. Just in a whirlwind night on me. Nah. He's not taking the pawn. Why is he not taking the pawn? I thought he did all that whirlwind to get the pawn. I obviously missed it. Hmm. Or maybe they heard me um, protesting against the whirlwind knight. It's going to attack it again here, so I don't know what the deliberation is really. Going for it again. For a fork with this knight and my rook, on oh, oh, my rook and my king. I don't think there's anything here because we can take here. Always very conscious when the knight's blocking the king. Just gonna try the pass pawns like to be pushed situation. The rook's gone back to stop the pass pawn situation. We'll give it one more push. If we give it one more push, I suppose it's going to block. Gives us a chance to maybe get the rook here. There's no checks on my king with his knight. So I suppose his knight's going to do some sort of maneuver. And then we can go here. To attack the king and the rook and get some sort of promotion. So one more push.
Oh, there's movement. So I think we can still continue with this move here. Unless there's a check on my king. The only check that you can put on my king is, king is here. So there's not a fork on my king and the rook if it goes there. So we'll continue with this movement. And they've resigned. Okay, pretty smooth game. If that's for a rematch, I think I've played a few rapid games today. I think this will be my final one. Let's just throw this on and just do a quick zip through. As you know, just checking to see if there's any major dips in the eval bar. So let's go here. Capture, capture. So the slight advantage to black at this moment. And then they push through here, so we think that gave us plus one after that exchange. And we're basically looking to trade down. A little bit squinchy about the rook being in the centre of the ball, but it's fairly okay because the opponent's not developed really at this point. So simple defence, just pushing the pawn up. Going for the attack, you know. I did think in my head the computer was not going to like this move, but I can afford to trade down. They take, take, and push up. That's all pretty straightforward. Capture, capture. Oh, we were kind of out and out winning at some point. Six point three there. That's insane. D5. Oh, pushing the pawn up. Interesting. So it's allowing, oh, it's allowing that pawn to be taken. Well, a human would take the pawn. And it's just saying D6. And obviously the rook's going to block. And he's not going to push any further. Rook maybe. In fact, the pawns could be supporting, that's what it's saying here, c5. So that's a, a rook on its own, two linked pawns. It's kind of like having a rook, as has been mentioned before. And then it's saying knight coming into the game. Alright, that's a little bit more delicate than... So we kind of worked really hard then for the rest of the game. Oh, we gave it to them! Was there something better? Rook c6. Attacking now a knight. Is our knight trapped? Oh, he gets the pawn, don't he? If, um, still doesn't look that trapped, does it? Ouch, what's that? Oh, look at them squares. That's the type of thing we're talking about. The rook can just go over there and it's checkmate. <gasps> wow. Very good. But they didn't spot that. But that is something to... Alright, put that little pattern in the head there. Damn.